sounds like this. But then it goes does it, and then it goes and does this shit. And when that happens, you know it's coming. Don't get that camera out. I need to see your face. There it is. Oh my god, help me. And then we bring hell down on you sons of bitches. And your ears don't know what the fuck to do. Because it really comes down to some shit like this, motherfucker. Not this! Ooh, you know the rest. It's where and it's where? Oh yeah. It's in the left. Now we're gonna show it. Don't blow it, but we'll bestow it. Ready? Podcast! Podcast! It's in your face, it's in your ass, dude. It's an ass, dude. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. <laughs> yes, yes, we have much to talk about and not much time to talk it. So let's talk it before we walk it and squawk it. What do you think? Re-rock it. Oh, I took some liberties with that. Say hi, my friend. What you talking about, Willis? Oh, shit. You pulled an Arnold Drummond on me, man. God damn, I'm ready to rock with that. I can different strokes it. Different strokes for different folks, eh? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I like the, I like the, the numb, weak-handed stranger. Kind of from the back between the legs. And up and around, and it feels really kooky, <laughs> kooky and weird. Feels like somebody else is trying to like ah, manhandle me. But you know, we've all got our things, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone cares out there. Uh oh, who's that motherfucker? That's a dangerous son yeah. of a bitch. <laughs> a stranger who cares about you? It's a motherfucker. <laughs> there ain't been a motherfucker in history. Who's the, fucking, the caring, who's the caring head, stranger. Yeah. With no agenda, no angle, no no seat, ulterior motives, no nothing. Yeah. Show me the motherfucker that that ever was. I'll wait. And while I wait, I'm going to enjoy some of this. Well, I think some people, they, they start out that way, but then after time, they figure... Hey, you know, I deserve more. When <laughs> altruism gives way to ego? Oh, yeah, dude. That shit is like... How many times has that story repeated itself in humanity's fucking uh, short but... Every, every time? Pretty much. Pretty much. Altruism. Oh, let's do the right Except thing. Except for Jesus. He was the only one to ever not. It's because he had ulterior motives. See? He had his own fucking agenda. Oh, fuck him. Yep, you know, he's like, you, you'll be my bitch in the next life. Yeah. <laughs> There's a special reward waiting for you when this is all over. Oh, forever! <laughs> Turn the other cheek. Which cheek was he talking about? Now we're going to find out. <laughs> Oof. Christ. Uh. There's a fucking... A, well, whatever. Everybody's got their opinions about that shit. I personally think he was kind of a punk. If he even got, if he even goddamn existed, because you know what, as far as I'm concerned, he was just the latest incarnation of the savior myth, some shit which has been going on since fucking Sumerians. When I lived on Maui, I probably ran into five or so people that actually thought they were Jesus, like the reincarnation. Oh yeah, were they were they naked living in the forest and shit or what? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> And I was saying to myself, that's not possible because I am. Yeah. You know, it's like, how can they you're be like, when I am? You're like, step off my cape, asshole. Yeah. What are you <laughs> dreaming about, buddy? Yeah. Wakey, wakey. You're full yeah. of shit. You must wake up immediately. <laughs> Hello, dickhead. Having, having Jesus wars with other, other saviors. Yeah. Like, there's no way you can be the savior because I'm the savior. 
God told that me what... that I'm the savior, not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of kooks, kooks there, man, for sure. Kooky kooks. Yep. Kooking oh, it, just kooking it up. I forgot to tell you, like one of the craziest things I ever saw, and I wish Greg was here, because he'd fucking get it. I'd, he'd be laughing his ass off. He'd be giving you the the hamburger grabble grabble laugh fucking for an hour. But what? there was this road, right? That mm -hmm. went went to Oprah had this big estate, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And it was it was it was pretty close to where I lived, right? And I'd never really gone down because it's kind of this weird. Yeah, wasn't that that old oh. fucking like kind of weird place that she bought? I don't know if it was old. It was, wasn't it like it was a, like an old ranch? Ranch, she yeah. Like Do we she built a new house on it? We can't, yeah. But we went by that. On that one time that we all went up to that uh, winery, yeah, we got that really sweet wine, yeah, dude. And you were like, "That's that fucking place that Oprah bought or whatever the hell," and it was just like a creepy old ranch at that time. Yeah, well, there was that was the one that I did some work on, like that little farmhouse looking yeah. thing, or. But no, she had a she had more property. Lead take like this little offshoot off the highway right yeah and so this one time i'm like i'm gonna go go check it out you know because people are like oh it's pretty nice back there you can you can drive down there there's this road so there's this road i'd never been down and so i turn and i go down it and right as i'm getting like close to her property you know it's like this open pasture mm -hmm. there was this fucking weirdo like in the in the, this little grove of trees or like bushes and he had like instruments like hanging from like strings and different things and it said it said free music lessons and there's this creepy hippie dude he looked like a fucking full on pedophile freak right like just <sighs> you want to learn how to play Luring poor suckers in, man. I don't know. I got, a creepy, I got a creepy vibe when I saw him, and I was just like, Do you want to learn how to play the uke? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, um, oh. Weird, do, you know, do you know any brother is? He had like some prayer flags. And, you know, some white hippie dude, but he had like prayer flags. Like Tibetan fl prayer flags and shit? Yeah, and just probably like a yurt or something in the bushes and like all these instruments, and I was like, I'm like, ain't nothing free, motherfucker. And I was like, <laughs> that's like, He's like, pay the price. You, <laughs> you lessons, you can it up. Yeah. Well, I can only imagine. Every time she went to her house, she had to drive by this guy. <laughs> She's right like, Jesus Christ, crazy Larry again? I pay my yeah. guys to get rid of him, and he just keeps coming back like a fucking, like a genital wart. <clears throat> like fucking herpes, that guy. Fuck. Unless he was part of the adrenochrome club or something you know? yeah he's like i know the truth oprah you can't get away from me i know she's like i think i should just probably have him killed or something stedman stedman oh stedman ringy dingy dingy <laughs> ring ring stedman. ringy dingy stedman oh, oh stedman oh yeah <laughs> And then substitute the reality for Stedman. You got it. Yes, that's right, folks. With the... Yeah, that was some freaky shit, man. That fucking that made my stomach fucking sink when I saw that shit. It oh, I'm sure, dude. Fucking, <laughs> he's sitting there with his his cross pollinated philosophies and religions and all this shit, and you're like, "What are you doing?" Free, and you're hanging fucking instruments from strings and shit, saying free lessons. Dude, why don't you just get a fucking van with a with a bubble window and suspend candy bars and pop from the ceiling? <laughs> you fucking Pretty ass. Much, yeah, you fucking, fucking creep. <laughs> See, it would just be fun to be the age I am now and go back to certain points in my life. And just be like, look, fuck face. And just be like, no holds barred. Take the filter, all the filters, and the fucking manners and shit, whatever the fuck. Politeness, away. Just tell certain fucking, in certain zones of life, just fucking be like, fuck you. 
And it, yeah, but you know. And videotape it. Yeah, yeah. Like, take your fucking smartphone and just kind of fuck off back to this certain point. Fucking hit hit video. Fucking fucking record and just be like, listen, son of a bitch. What I fucking should say right here is fuck off. And then you're like, yeah, yeah. click out. Fucking whatever. To dream divine. To err is human. To dream divine. Or whatever. So yeah, that was the last time I went down that road. It was too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're like, I don't want to come. Because I, I went past it and then it went to this pasture. And I drove for a while, like a couple miles, and then there was like a gate finally. So I just turned around to the, the gate to the estate. Uh. But um, I was like, that's a creepy fucking entrance, man. What the fuck? Weirdo. Yeah, the whole thing was an adrenochrome farm nightmare, man. I mean, it was, <laughs> from what I remember of seeing it, I think we I think we did go to the gate. I want to say you took us to the gate and shit, and you're like, yeah, that's Oprah's place up there, and blah, 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 and then we're like, why is Well, this? yeah, during the holidays, like, Air Force One would land at the airport, and the, the Obamas would, like, go up there, fucking Big Mike and, and Obama. They fucking they hang out with with the big O. Bama fucking. got Bama getting a rama slamma from Big Mike. Obama. Yeah. They be getting all funky up there on the hillside. Obama, it's your son Sama from Alabama. Yeah, Big Mike raping him on the hillside. Is that what you said? <laughs> Aloha rape. You know how the Obama Ohana fucking rolls. Whoa, those kids are rented, man. Big Mike, and Big Mike can't way, have no kids. Which way? Yeah. Possible. Big Mike can't have any kids unless they're fucking butt babies. Yeah, I saw a thing earlier that they were making fun of Trump, right? Because he had some wrinkly pants on. That's like the big news. Uh, he, gave, <laughs> he, he gave a speech, you know, and he had like he looked kind of bummy because his pants were all wrinkled. <laughs> and, and then they were trying to say he was wearing them backwards, you know? Yeah. Jesus and Christ. I was like, I was like, you sit there it, it, and you go on and on about his wrinkly pants, but you never say anything about the lump in fucking Michelle's fucking pants. Ooh, right? in the front? In, under, yeah. her, under her cod piece? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Big Mike. Not cool. Go away, Big Mike. Yeah. Why are people like her around? Joe Biden. You know, that's the funny fucking thing. It's, uh... They, they, they're still talking about Trump. Oh, wrinkly pants. Oh, well, what do you care? He's not the president anymore. You know, did anybody yeah, ever... He's, he's all disheveled and, you know, just bummy yeah. now because he's not but president. Did, but did anybody ever give Reagan a fucking hard time if he showed up with fucking wrinkly pants? This is what I gotta say, though, man. Joe Biden is a fucking jackass. And you know what's got to happen now, because that's the truth. So we're going to do it like this. Oh yeah, Joe Biden is a fucking creep. Where did he go? Nobody talks about Joe Biden anymore. Oh, what's he fucking doing while Kamala goes south? They didn't want her ass there. They said to get the fuck out. Go back. Shove it up your fucking ass till it comes out your own mouth. Kamala. Ooh. Kamala. Kamala Mala. Ooh. She got the stretch marks on her mouth because she's Kamala. That's all I got to say about that for the moment. But I don't want you to forget there's this guy. <laughs> he's hiding in basements and shit. But his name's Joe Biden. And he's sliding down your leg like a motherfucking turd. Every he's now and then, he's got a wrinkle in his pants. <laughs> he's got them wrinkly pants, but then they get he's much tighter. Got pants in his pants. Yeah, he sees your children, and his pants get tighter. No more wrinkles in his wrinkly pants. It's tight, like Mike, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> <laughs> tight like Michael. <laughs> Michael Jackson or Big Mike? 
<laughs> yeah.